routers are getting faster than ever. And that's a progress for you. In fact, they are getting insanely fast, but in the meantime, for a faster and more advanced router, you have to pay a hefty price. And that's exactly why today I'm going to show you a very affordable router called ASUS RTAC53, which is a dual band router and it offers some really useful features like VPN server, parental controls, MIMO wireless transfer technology, and more, all at a very reasonable price of $44. So let's check out that this dual band router is worth buying or not. Now before starting, let's quickly unbox it and see what we are getting inside. The box is very similar to that of other ASUS routers, featuring a picture of device on the top and a list with its most important features. Inside the packaging, you will find the router, the power adapter, a network cable, the quick setup guide, the warranty and other leaflets. In terms of design, the ASUS RTAC53, it seems to be very well designed. The router is made from a matte colored plastic which looks really great. In terms of size, the router is very large. The overall dimension is 12.59 by 7.48 by 1.37 inches. The antennas are very tall though, but even so the overall weight is quite small at 285 grams. Users will appreciate the fact that this Wi-Fi router has mounting screw slots on the bottom so that it can be mounted on a wall. On the back side of the router, you will find the power jack, the power button, the WPS button and the jack for resetting the device. This router offers 1 Gbps wide Ethernet connection but it has only 2 Ethernet ports alongside the one for connecting it to the internet. Moving forward to its hardware. The hardware specifications of ASUS RTAC53 wireless router are modest. It features a single-core MediaTek MT7620A processor running at the 580 MHz frequency, 64 MB of RAM memory and 8 MB of storage space for the firmware. The three external antennas are very tall and they cannot be detached from the router. Two of them take care of 2.4 GHz wireless frequency and one of them of the 5 GHz wireless frequency. I found this a bit strange since most modern routers focuses on 5 GHz frequency because it can offer faster Wi-Fi connection. This router offers support for all the modern networking standards including 802.11ac and 802.11n. The theoretical bandwidth is of 300 megabits per second for the 2.4 GHz and of 433 megabits for the 5 GHz frequency, leading to a total of 733 megabits per second. Now let's see how you can set this up. Setting up the ASUS RTAC53 is not a difficult thing to do. You should place it where you want to use it, connect it to internet, turn it on and then connect it to computer or laptop from which you run the initial configuration. The setup wizard is easy to use and it starts by asking you to change the default username and password for administrating the device. Then it detects the type of internet connection that you have and asks for the appropriate connection details. Once that is out of the way, you can set the name and password for the wireless network that are broadcast by the router. Next, you should access the administration user interface and get into more advanced setting. The user interface looks the same as on all other ASUS routers and it is organized the same way. When you are done setting everything, you should connect your all computers and devices to the network that is managed by the router. We were able to share files and folders over the network, do media streaming, use a wireless printer and more. However, during our testing period, we noticed temporary drops of wireless signal that usually lasted couple of seconds. Unfortunately, they were rather frequent, especially in the room furthest from the router. Also, while the speed of the wireless network was satisfactory in the room closer to the router, in those further away from it, the signal strength was weak and the speed we obtained was very variable. The hardware on the ASUS RTAC53 is able to deliver stable wireless network connection at a satisfactory speed. Hopefully, future firmware updates will fix these problems. Now, after watching this review, if you are interested in buying this, then I'll leave a link for this router in the description down below. Now, I imported this router from a website called gearbase.com for about $44, which is roughly equal to 2800 Indian rupees, which I think is quite affordable. So, guys, that's it for this video. Hope you guys enjoyed it. And if you do, then do consider subscribing to my channel for more future videos like this. And don't forget to press that bell icon to get notified every time I release a new video. So, this is Samir signing off, and I'll see you guys in my next one.